you're probably trying to figure out how to add awesome imagery to your PowerPoint presentations. Well, if you aren't, I'm going to show you guys how PowerPoint offers amazing imagery built into the application in just a few seconds. So without further ado, let's get to the tutorial. Obviously, you have the capability of inserting your own pictures on your desktop, but another cool thing is that you can actually insert pictures that PowerPoint already provides to you. So if you click on online pictures right here, you then can sift through all these different images right here and see maybe what type of images might interest you for your presentation. And they have a wide range of images. So let's say I just want to search, let's say mountain. Okay, I'm just going to search that. And now all these images of mountains pop up instantly in the search functionality. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select one. So let me select this one right here. Or actually, let's select this one. This one looks a little nicer. And I'm just going to say insert. It just inserts the image instantly for you to have for your PowerPoint presentation, which is super nice and efficient to add images without having to Google them or make sure that they're allowed to be used on your PowerPoint presentations. Another thing to note is let's say I go back to insert and I go to online pictures again, and maybe I I want more than one picture of a mountain. I could search mountain again and then let's say I hit enter and then I say I want this one this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I want a lot of images. Okay. I selected all those. And now what I can do is I can hit insert. Now it's going to start inserting all 16 pictures of mountains. So if you just love your mountains, this is a great tutorial for you. But all seriousness, this is a very quick and efficient way to add pictures of whatever you might like. And they have a lot of different options for you. I noticed that some of these images are actually from the site called Unsplash. Com. So you can use all these images for your PowerPoint presentation with ease, super quick and efficient. Another thing I want to show you guys about the image section, because I don't want to only show you guys how you can insert pictures by doing them online. Get this. So let me delete all these right now. We're back to a blank presentation. Check out this screenshot functionality. So what's really cool about this is let's say I click this drop down menu. Now what it allows me to do is I can actually take a screenshot of any of the windows I have open. So I could technically take a screenshot of this PowerPoint slide right here. But let's say I take a screenshot of my tool OBS presenting this presentation, it's gonna be a little trippy to see. So now I just hit that. And now it took a screenshot of OBS screen recording this video that you see right here, super quick, super efficient. And you didn't have to like get like any type of screenshot tools out, you just hit that button and it takes a screenshot for you. And then you can crop maybe you just want that presentation in there as the image you can always crop crop it by going up here to crop and then I can just crop it in right like so and now I just have my screenshot of my PowerPoint presentation that I am showing you guys right now. So another thing I want to show you guys in insert is let's say I go back to screenshot and I go to screen clipping. Now if I go to screen clipping what's actually going to happen is it's going to minimize that PowerPoint presentation and now whatever is behind that PowerPoint presentation that's showing up on my screen it's going to then show up so you want to make sure that if you do want to take a screenshot of something that is just behind your PowerPoint window. In this case, I just have another template of PowerPoint up. Not a shocker there. So what I could do is I could take a screenshot like so, just click and drag. And now it's going to automatically insert that screenshot on that slide of what I selected. Again, super efficient. You don't have to save anything to your files and then insert it. It's so quick to do, you guys. Like I would definitely recommend this feature if you are needing to take screenshots of anything to include in your presentations. All right, so those were the main features I wanted to show you guys in the images section in PowerPoint. If you guys did find this helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you could subscribe, I would greatly appreciate the support. Also, if you are interested in learning all things related to PowerPoint, I do have a link to that in the description below. But without further ado, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I hope to see you guys in future videos. Thanks.